Days Club. After the day you, oh, you had a barbecue, <laughs> the, the day after, she was one kilo. In a half. Well, in a half. Just no, one day. Just because of Whoa. the barbecue. In the park. I'm, I'm, so, I'm so easy. Oh, this yeah. one here. Oh, yeah. This one here. Uh -huh. yeah. I'm so easy to, to put Because she's like eating on. like a bird. Just a small thing, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then one day that I ate too much because of that, but I was on the barbecue. This means the person who's doing the meat is the uh -huh. one they eat more because well, exactly, exactly. Is exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the same time when you when you cook, when you cook, like you you eat more because you have to mm, taste. You have to taste. <clears throat> it's not gonna be too salty. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Let's okay. Start. Now, let's start. Let's start. Let's start. I don't know. It's gonna be every time in the beginning. I don't know how to to speak English, guys. Okay, no problem, no problem, no problem. Like you like you say, I don't speak in English in English. But but you know, it's it's nice you speak it sometimes in Portuguese because he's in the in the class. Yes. So he has he has to say something in Portuguese for us. Boa tarde. <risos> como você está? Ótimo. E você? Como você está? Oh, tudo oh. bem? Tudo bem, obrigado. Eu vou sair. Ótimo. Aí fica bem assim, tudo bem, obrigado e você? E você, como é que você está? Tudo bem, obrigado e você? E aí, that's it for two that's hours. <risos> então, para ele, é, ele é bacana, ele... Okay. Fala, okay. fala uh -huh, alguma coisa em <coughs> português. Hello, uh -huh. guys. Uh, I don't know if I speak English or Portuguese because, look, I can speak two languages, guys. Sorry oh for that. Oh, my God. Okay, look, I'm so happy because it, we, you are coming back, going back if you are a podcast. After two or three months, you stop it because, anyway, there's a lot a of few things going on, yeah. Going in Australia. Man, life in Australia is so crazy. Look, and today I'm so happy. I'm so happy because, because I'm you have in, in your front here. Who? I star. I star. Hello, Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ken. I'm Ken. <laughs> Hello, Barbie. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Philip and Angeli. Philip, thank you very much. I'm so happy that, that you have you been here. My pleasure. Oh, my pleasure. Thank pleasure. you. <laughs> Angeli, thank you very much. To be here with us, um é to meu. enjoy this todo meu. couple of minutes with <laughs> us. Luana? I'm here again. Luana, Luana, anyway, is here. I have no option. <laughs> <laughs> because I have no option. I do prefer to be laying down on my bed and watch Netflix, but I'm here. <laughs> and Supporting. So you're, making, you're making Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> and today you talk like almost 100% of this podcast in English, then it's a great opportunity to learn uh -huh. how to speak a great English from a guy in Australia. Uh -huh. Then Luana and Angeli speak like twice better than me. Then no, I, no, I try to, no. to put some words. Ah, but my channel has okay. improved a lot. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, a lot. You do. He, then he, it's he's good like, English. Well. I was talking with this guy last two weeks that you have you had a barbecue. Oh, last, week, last weekend. Yeah, last week. Yeah, last you had a barbecue weekend. here. Then look, this guy is crazy. This guy is crazy. <laughs> He's not crazy. Don't now. say don't say anything. <laughs> what are he gonna say? Don't say so anything gonna now. Say, what are gonna say? <laughs> He gonna say about him son you never you never never, look, never will remind I was him. think about it because possible. this guy can fry He's guy it literally can fly It can fry <laughs> Philip from Australia you want to see me jump off the balcony <laughs> Leave it today Leave it today <laughs> <laughs> Philip how old are you Philip uh, Angeli said you once for me you you have more than one uh, 100 years <laughs> more than 100 years yes yeah. he was born before 19s <laughs> I was yeah I'm, I'm a relic <laughs> same year as the dinosaurs <laughs> <laughs> How old are you, Philip? 71. 71? Just look as good. Yeah. Look as good. Look as good. Yeah, yeah. Look as good. Yeah, <laughs> you, yeah well, mommy. see, I got something to keep me young. Yeah. <laughs> Angeli. Either that or wear me Angeli, out. Angeli, you don't have to ask what old. I, I'm not <laughs> asking. No, no, you're not going to ask that. Then you, you start to talk about life in Australia. 
70 years old or 60 years old, how you feel how you feel about the difference between life today and when you was born, when you were a teenager. Then after that you talk about this relationship, like this unique. This unique yeah. and about, yeah. after that you talk about your hobbies. I know you you are that, a bit the, crazy. You don't look like a, a, a crazy guy, but you are I know. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like he wanna know like how Please. much how did you did you grow up around here Ulongong area or where did you grow up in Australia? No, I grew up in Canberra. Canberra, Canberra. Ah, yeah. okay. Cam Canberra up, yeah. if who don't know Canberra is the capital of yeah. Australia, yeah. it's not Sydney, it's Canberra. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit like a bit like Brasilia, I suppose. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. you know, Melbourne and Sydney are the two really big cities and you think one of those is the capital, but uh, in the same in Brazil, you think, you know, it's, São Paulo or, or should be the Janeiro, capital. Or, uh, yeah, but actually it's Brazil, yeah. which is smaller. Yeah. But what happened in Australia was that um, uh, originally it was before Federation, they were like all separate states and they weren't together. 1901, I think it was, they they, fed, they, they made the Federation, brought them all together into, into a Commonwealth Sydney wanted to be capital. Melbourne wanted to be capital. So they said, oh, we'll put it halfway between. Oh, but <laughs> Find somewhere in between. That's what yeah, it's going to be Canberra. That's how it happened. Yeah. But it happens 30 years ago? Just? No, no, no. No, long time. That was long 1901, time. I think. Oh, okay. I think okay. was the okay. federation. Yeah. something yeah. years ago. And then, so they found this spot, which is Canberra. There was a little valley, a river through. It was sheep country. And they made an international competition. To design ah, Canberra. Ah, that's yeah. what they are. Ah, it's like the competition the guys did on, on, Brazil, on Brazil, Sydney yeah. o Opera House. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. International competition. And Walter, Bur Walter Burley Griffin won it. And he had, you know, with the lake and he had, the, you know, the parliamentary triangle. It was it was quite a geometric thing, you know, uh -huh. and, and, and it's a beautiful, it's a, a lot of people don't like it because they get lost going around in circles. But for me, I grew up there and I thought growing up, I wouldn't want to live there now, but growing up well, as a kid there it was fantastic for me. You know, because as everything planned, everything works, like the public transportation works, everything because yeah. it was planned or kind of? Yeah, well, it, everything did work. And because it, was, because it was funded by the Commonwealth, all the schools had the best equipment and, you ah, know. It, everything it was, was new. Yeah, new and all very good equipment. And we had the light. I lived near Yarralumla, so... The lake was just down the bottom of the street, so we used to sail all the time, and we, you know, we just a, we just a great place to grow up. For but kids. it was really cold, isn't it? It's still really cold. Oh my oh, god! Winter time, it's cold. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, winter oh, time. Cold, cold, every time, cold is something. It's every freezing. Time, every time <laughs> it's cold in there. Right. Even in summer, when it goes there, it's like ah, oh, it's hot. Well, Guys, well, Cam so hot. Canberra's a city of extremes. In the winter time, it's too cold for yeah. me. In the summertime, it's too too hot. You know, why do we live here? Because it's you know, kinda, um, the same temperature. Well, it's cold in the winter. Because but it's mild. Mm -hmm. It's mild. It's not so hot in the summer. How you? It's not so how cold. you? When? When did you move to around here? Well, what happened was, um, after school, I moved to Sydney as a student. You know, because, ah, I, because I'm, I'm an architect, so I started. Uh, I started you, architecture. Not much there in Canberra. Don't well, know, well, you couldn't study there. architecture in Canberra in those days. You can now. <laughs> Weird because if there was a city it was planned and a little large, but, it's, be, but it's not be... in there in that time. Ah, yeah, okay. yeah, it, it, there, it is now. You can do it there now, but yeah. and I did. I, I wanted to go to Sydney anyway because of a better reputation and and then the you parties know. and yeah, yeah. yeah. And King, King Cross Street. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so 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 myself and and so we three of us shared a little apartment together and we all we had motorbikes and you know all this it's chill. Yeah, still have, still have, <laughs> and um, so that was a great time. You know, it was really good. So, and it get, got me out of the. You know, I moved to Sydney. I never really went back. You know, I'd go back the for visit, a weekend, yeah. weekend to say hello or something, but I was gone. You know, yeah. but you still same family living there. To, um, yeah, well, my sister still lives there, and I go and see her. She loves see a bit, and I, all, all my friends. One of the things about my year, my group at school. Still very strong. That's nice. Mm. Still yeah. very strong. Everybody alive. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. You know, the motorbike trips we go on, it's the same people that I went on motorbike trips when I was 18. Yeah. 
That's amazing. That's amazing yeah. because it's, it's really yes. rare. It's really rare. And there's, you know, there's, there's, there's a whole range of skills. We've got one guy who's a senior CSIRO research scientist. We've got guys who work in gardeners digging ditches. We've got taxi drivers. We've got all sorts of things. But we come together and it's still the same friends that we had, yeah. so, you know, and the same the, sense, the same sense of like humour. The, the, and, the same know, jokes that yeah, they always have. Like yeah, if, yeah. It's and so, so, like, one of the motorbike rides we go on is from Canberra down the coast to Cooma for breakfast, turn left, down Brown Mountain. We go all the way down to the coast, down nearly to Eden, back up the coast, beautiful sweeping, you know, sweeping... Mm-hmm. Carbs ben, and yeah, and just really. Not. Then we stop at a friend's farm for the night. We sp- we you know, and we go, we just go, go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and big fire, big fire going, and food. It's and a, big a, little, a little bit of drinking, Churrasco. just a little bit yeah, of drinking. Drinking, drinking. Okay. you can't stop. Drinking, what's you that? can't stop on drinking. You can't <laughs> stop on drinking. You're not. You cannot say well, everything so, you had this well, so night. Uh, but <laughs> the problem is. No, I know, I know what, what they have. I know what they have, you know, you know what? Because they, they are, they are this, uh, the same age, 70s. So, you know, they just just for pleasure, pleasure to go to somewhere and get to together. drink. Yeah. And, and remember the good times. But see, and two, and two and of them, music. two of them work in a um, liquor barn. Oh. So when have... we go on the motorbike, they go in the ute, packed up, you know, with a... Uh-huh. Tarp over the top. <laughs> Did they get the hot the store? The stock yeah. of the store and then drink yeah. it out. Yeah. So you know, yeah. It's just for and sing and, and laugh and that's good. So that's we have a really nice. big night. That's and then nice. many stuff. And many then stuff. Many stuff. And many stuff. Many stuff. I, I wish I have a strong uh, like group of friends. I would you like to. I would like to. Uh, when yeah. I go yeah. back to Brazil, I don't have many people exactly. to stay with. Yeah, like, exactly. Well, then on Sunday we ride home with a hangover, you know. So. And it's not <laughs> 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 and I, and I stop. I stop falling. <laughs> 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 you know, watch a, a video together about the guy who was was getting fun about. Every year the guys start a competition together, the another one. Like I Ah the cash, the tag, the tag game. Uh-huh. Every year for sixty years the guy was every year. <laughs> like it's once nice. a year nice. met, like yeah. do some kind of stuff. It's nice together. to keep to keep this friendship forever. Yeah, yeah. 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 over fifty really cool. years. And it's like <clears throat> the fun the fun and like the things because you just have the social media to contact each other like five seven, ten years ago. Yeah, and you're like 70 years and this means like you keep in touch like with each other even the time you don't have cell phones you know, yeah that's but, amazing. Well, well let me tell but. you let me tell you one thing about happened you know like um I, I got halfway through the architecture course and i wasn't going very well so i decided i was going to go and travel right and uh, i went to the dean of the school and said look you know i'm not going very well here. i'm going to take a year off and travel and he said well if you're going to the UK, why don't you write to some of the architecture schools and if they'll take you, we'll give you credit for anything that you do, okay? So I did. So I went to London and I went for one year and I was I got a bit caught up with a few things that I'll tell you about. But <laughs> <laughs> I was there for six years. And halfway through, I came back to Australia, came back to Canberra, and I arranged to meet one of those friends of mine in the local football club. Like, you know, uh-huh. I called him up and said, look, I'm coming back. I'm, I'm only here for a couple of days. And he said, come down to the, it was a, was a Wednesday night or something like, you know, something meaningless. In the middle of the week. Uh-huh. Yeah, in the middle of the week. And he said, I'll oh, come down to the football club. I'll be down there having a couple of beers. You can come and come and join us. And uh, so I went down. It was Wednesday and I walked in. There was, there was nobody there. There was just him sitting at the bar. So I went and sat, had a couple of beers with him. Next to the bar was the concertina doors. And inside, I could see through there, there were some tables and the tables and chairs and there was something going on in there. And I, so I said, what's, what's that in there? I said, oh, it's one of the uh, Australian, you know, Australian rugby players. He's retiring. It's his testimonial dinner. And one of the wallabies has come down from Sydney. He's the guest speaker and, you know, yak, yak, yak. And was your friend? No, no, it wasn't my friend. But what happened was... 20 minutes later, the party was over. The doors opened. What the fuck? And the doors from this next door, and they all came out, and they were all 
absolutely shit faced, you know. They were right. drunk <laughs> and, and Why are you doing while we minutes? while we were sitting at the bar, <laughs> I looked around and they started first of all they packed down a scrum on the floor of the bar. Next thing I know, they took their clothes off. So all these men <laughs> are naked, packing down on a scrum, playing football in the bar. Of naked. This, uh, naked. <laughs> Just guys. And then as I was sitting there. Pretty, pretty strange. There right? was a jacket okay. and this body, this body came through the air and hit the bar. There was a, you know, a bar where you put your foot. Hit uh-huh. that and blood, you know, came. Oh and God. I had to move out of the way. And, and my friend sitting next to me, he said, I don't know why you want to go overseas, mate. This is paradise. <laughs> 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 what do you want to go overseas for? And you got all this here. Look at that. This <laughs> one. <laughs> crazy. Australia's crazy. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the club's but gone. It it's gone now. It went broke, you know. But but that's what, that's, you know, you know I tell a story like that and nobody believes you. But that's what happened. I know, here in Australia. Yeah, like this culture about <laughs> clubs. You don't have it this in Brazil. No, no, no. Club you thing, saw yeah. Philip was two, two months ago in Brazil, three months ago in Brazil. Yeah. Like in Brazil, you have like bars in the street, yeah. not clubs. It's yeah. not, you don't have this yeah. culture. Yeah, but yeah. Like, yeah. Delícia. Ai, meu Deus, é um botequinho, né, gente? Não tem boteco aqui, não. O que é isso, boteco? How 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 long have you been in Australia? Uh six years. Six years. Six years. Yeah. Where where, where did you live in you know, Brazil? I, I I don't remember if I asked. You. São Paulo, São Campinas. Paulo, yeah. Campinas. Campinas. Yeah, Campinas. Yeah, my neighbor. Yeah, yeah. My neighbor. Yeah, you're from Jundiaí. Who who doesn't know? I live in Jundiaí. Jundiaí yeah. is half an hour from São Paulo. Exactly. And why why did you leave? Uh, why you decide to come to Australia? To come um, to Australia. I decided to come to Australia because. Um, I've been uh, a little bit upset about my job, my career in Brazil, because I'm a teacher and psychologist. Kind of teach? oh. Yeah, I'm a teacher, uh, I'm pedagogy. And uh, since the baby into the high school, and uh, yes. and um, Why? Because the, the, the payment in Brazil for teachers oh, is it's amazing. It's eh? one of the but, greats. But, but, he, but <laughs> here, he, he, here he is. It's the same. It's the same. It's the same. Yeah. So I think it's the other word they don't don't appreciate the teachers, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's bad. It's the same, but you it's cannot compare better. the life. You, the, the 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 lowest payment yeah. here you can you can you can live you can live you can live you can live yeah yeah in yeah. Brazil yeah yeah it's impossible it's it's you, not impossible you, but you hard. had to, to to have like two or three. Jobs. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. In, in it looks like he's drinking a cup of tea, but it's not. <laughs> it's, it's, not it's not tea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on to you. I know what's going on. You, I, as soon as you finish your big mouth for you, don't worry. <laughs> it's just, it's just, it is high in the beer. Yeah. But, but, but yeah, how, how this idea why, came? Like from nothing? Like, uh, do, you have any, you, do you have anyone here before? No, I, I, I have an idea uh, before to go to America, but uh, didn't work well because I just feel... Uh, I didn't feel like a understand so did, did you went there? No no no, 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 no. It was no, just no. a plan. When just you, a plan. When you're yeah. looking, searching, you didn't feel like was the place. No, no, no. I had some friends in there, but to say, ah, you know, let's let's stay here and try and try and today. I can, I know I know sometimes it's 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 hard to say that, but um you you we live in Brazil with you hope. You give you a chance, you, no. Tomorrow will be better than today. No, <laughs> let's let's yeah. try. Let's try one more time. Understand? So, yeah, thinking about Jesus, say, education in Brazil is like a for me. After twenty years working in twenty educa- years, 20 years working in education, say, for me is enough. So it's I have nothing friend, getting better. No, 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 never, never, never. Well, no, oh, it's opposite, yeah. worse. So a friend of mine, he 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 came here like three years. And before me, mm-hmm. and uh, talk with him, like I say, oh, actually, why you don't come here? Why yeah, don't come why? to Australia? Why? Mm-hmm. See, well, Australia, like, a, I said, because to us, like, because back Australia. in the day, Australia wasn't the like a first option to come because normally they sell more internships for 
Ireland, uh, exactly. Uh, 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 Canada, Canada uh, uh, US, is out US. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Because, because probably like because you're a teacher, if uh, she goes to a uh, agency of any immigration, she's no, no, go to US because you can do out pair because you yeah. know kids, whatever, yeah, something yeah. like that. It wasn't like Australia one of the first because it was too expensive. Because it's the other side of the world, just the tickets uh-huh. already like half exactly. of the program from exactly. somewhere else. Yeah, exactly. and it's, it's kind of like why Australia? No, but but it's like I just I just heard about Australia in uh, in Olympic Games. So and I was I was Olympic young game. exactly. Nineteen ninety two. Exactly. So it was in Sydney. I, I was I was a baby. No, two thousand. 2000? 2000? 2000, Olympic Games 2000. Yeah, 2000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was a, a little baby in that time. The same. A little oh. baby, you were you <laughs> too much. <laughs> I was She's a little awesome. baby. <laughs> she said that 20 years ago she was a little baby. <laughs> I was a little baby in that case. I heard about it. Uh, I hear Olympic about about it. Games. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then also, it's, it's, I think it's the it's the only time, but it's 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 like a okay. I heard about Australia, but and what else? And uh, when my 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 friend he started to talk to me, it's like oh, I started searching about it. So like, oh oh There's a way. oh, and it's like uh-huh. a, interesting. You can you can you can have a <clears throat> ne, some some thinking to go yeah. So okay, I'm here. Yeah. In Australia. And in all my life I never thought to live in Australia because it's expensive. Exactly. It's far. Exactly. And uh, it's the other side of the world from yes. Brazil. Yes. And uh, you 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 know, I know. you know now. Yeah. I know. I know. I know. How far yeah. it is. Yes. How how long was your travel to there? Did you do did you do to like to Chile, Chile or to, yeah. Yeah. to Chile? Chile. Yeah. 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 We went four hours to Auckland. Mm-hmm. Get off. Two hours there, ten hours Santiago. Ah. Wait there for another two or three hours, <laughs> and then more up to São Paulo. And São Paulo. At least you didn't do for Dubai like at least last yeah. year. Never no, do, no. never <clears throat> do this way. I did once, and I'm not gonna do it again because it's two flights of twelve and fourteen hours. Yeah, well, oh. coming back, coming back Santiago to Sydney direct is fourteen hours. Yeah, that, that's, that's that's why. That's grueling. Yeah, that is, yeah, that that, that's yes. why he, yeah. he he just say, he said Angelique. Are you uh, overthinking I mean to enough. go to Brazil <coughs> again? Because, but you know, drag because, it a bit closer and I'll go. I'll go <laughs> <more>. <laughs> no, but because of what? Because is it? Because is it? Um, we have a point. Because when I came to Australia six years ago, I never come back to to Brazil to visit. You don't ah, remember how shit was. Exactly, the I didn't remember nothing, nothing. And it's is his first time going to Brazil. So it looks like. A, I'm Brazilian, but my first time going to Brazil. Mm-hmm. Understand? It's like it's crazy. Because a long time you're not there, you didn't see it's your family. Exactly. Like, like everything exactly. New again. To 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 roll, nothing, nothing. So it's the first time to both of us. So ah, oh, okay. So now next time you're going to prepare more, organize a little bit more. Maybe maybe next time you guys can the, stay one day in Auckland, then then go, go to next, Chile or and America. Then one more day in Chile or two, and then Rest, go and break, break the trip yeah, up. Exactly. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I, I never thought to be in Australia because shit, it's expensive, it's far, and yeah. I didn't have anyone in my family. My family has like more than 50 people. Uh-huh. Like Ooh. party there, it's like a huge party. Uh-huh. Then I don't have anyone to help me to, like, why uh-huh. do you go to Australia? Uh-huh. It's idea. Like, it, Are you crazy? Where are you going? But when yeah. they ask you that, what do you say? I, I, I don't have this idea before. Australia is too far for me because yeah. I didn't have in my life this amount of money to buy a, 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 a ticket to go or to live in Australia. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Then now I think to change my family, not my uh, my sister because she's is, is pretty much my age, yeah. my brother as well, but my how can I say my yeah, my, my yeah, nephew. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. 50 years yeah. ago, uh, uh, next fix, fix, uh, 20 mm-hmm. years, 15 years, then I start to yeah. save money to start uh, to exactly. change he's, he's, he's his life. For, exactly. To change the, the course of his family because he's the first person who went out of the country. Yeah. And then he wants 
he's the, the first one of me. everything, but he wanted the new generations yeah. to follow yeah, him, you exactly. know, like in his nephew too. Mm -hmm. Because for today, me, for me, it was easier because my old brother already living in Germany uh -huh. since 2009. I have my auntie who live in Italy. Like, it was on my family. This thing that he's saying uh -huh. now was already on my family. I did an internship to Canada in 2012 mm -hmm. because I want to go to Australia already, but it was way more expensive that time. By my dad, like that time, I was pie. <laughs> my dad who was Pietro Senior. Yeah. Pietro Senior. Like my dad was mm -hmm. uh, like paying Pat for me. You know, so you, uh, I don't know how I say Patros, Patros in English. You have uh, you have kids. I have kids. Yeah. If well, your kids don't have money, and you, you need to. Thank you, Daddy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And and Daddy was amazing. Daddy Daddy was amazing. He paid me to go. It's, it's like the same. Actually, the Daddy same. says that to me too. Thank you, Daddy. Okay. <laughs> I can, Look. Yes. Yeah, so I, 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 I don't. I don't like to say to to know what time she said. She say it for you. <laughs> no, 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 no. In what circumstances? Say oh, this. Are you big? I'm big. This. This. If you wanna, if you, this glass is from the club around the corner. He's, he stole it. Look. How much is the paint, uh, Lona? For him, six bucks the paint. <laughs> <laughs> Cheap, I'll have two. Thiago is drinking tea, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, he's Give drinking tea. tea. I've never seen tea with a head before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If Philip is happy, I'm happy. Anyway, yeah. everybody's happy. Boas everybody's happy. Anyway, three years ago, should, have, three years have, ago. Three years ago. Have have you heard him? No. Can you repeat? Boa cerveja. Boa cerveja. Boa cerveja. Ah, look. <laughs> Cheers, my man. Cheers. Saúde. Cheers, Barbie. Oh, it's Ken. He hello, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, everything ha it happens. I'm here. Luan is here. Thank you, father. Luan's father for that. Thank you, daddy. L like yeah. three no, years. No, no, no. But, but the thing is, he gave me the opportunity to go to Canada. I did learn a little bit of English. When I went there, I was zero English at all. Yeah. I'll end a bit enough to later on pass an interview or work in a Royal Caribbean cruise line for uh -huh. three years. Cruise Since line? The cruise uh -huh. line that travel all of like all the world. I did, I did And too. then that three years, I saved the money to come. Then, okay. then I came with my money, yeah, oh, okay. because mm -hmm. was my plan, because my dad wasn't going to support me again. Yeah. So, you mm -hmm. know, like he did the first step because uh -huh. um, then he gave me the basic of the uh -huh. English. Mm -hmm. I studied, like I studied a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I passed on the interview. I got mm -hmm. the job. I improved a lot my English um, on board. And when I came mm -hmm. here, I was more prepared. Yeah. It was totally different, the experience that I have in Canada and here. Mm -hmm. Because I came with English, I came with experience like in, in, a, in a company, a huge company like mm -hmm. Raven that everybody knows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then this this make me way easier for start. Like my my um, experience here is totally different of you guys when you exactly. arrive because you arrive exactly. with like no English, nothing. You don't know. You what. you are you you That's and hard. you and Fili and Philippi are the privileged privileged yes. class. Was it privileged? Class. <laughs> <laughs> a class speak privilegiada. Speak. <laughs> os brancos, os brancos têm a classe, têm, são mais <laughs> And então, uh, it happens, everything happens. It's <laughs> it's tea, it's shot. And after that, yeah, yeah, yeah. three years ago, I met uh, I met Luana. And his life changed and, uh, forever. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I app, do you know app like Tinder, this yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He knows. I know. <laughs> He does very well. He does very well. Is, is this in your is this no. is Tell me, tell is me this? how many photos you have naked on this app. They're all like that. No. Is there way? Is there way that we, we, we have met too? Uh, ah, are you yeah. asking? Are you asking? Yeah. Are you met? It's like I have yeah, to. yeah. Because I I didn't I didn't I didn't trust relationship. Via internet, okay. I, 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 I never trust. Okay. But in Australia, give you a chance. Exactly, because when I came here living with Brazilians, he said, "Actually, you have to try. You have to try find some other. Ah, I don't, I don't trust. I have to try." So okay, okay, I opened it. Oh, this yeah. is amazing! Look what happened! Oh, oh my God! God. Oh, 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 you oh, find your kids? Oh, no, 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 Hello, but okay. But you know what? But you know what? <laughs> I was because I was I was very disappointed because ah, so. 
So, uh, he, 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 he had was, a picture with the motorbike? He was naked. Oh, no. He was no. naked. No. Lying on the motorbike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I was deleted because I was like, uh, this is not, doesn't work. Like uh, I was almost deleted. And uh, I received an extra, extra super mech. Oh, you would have extra stuff. He had to pay. Exactly. He had to pay. What was 10 stars there? It's like, oh. I said, oh, okay. I pay, give it a I chance. Pay to as well. I, I give it a chance. I give it a chance. I give it a chance for I him. I paid the pizza from Dominus. <laughs> In this, in this beer. Oh, in really? This beer. Oh, my God. It's okay. It's all right. So, you're here. Three years. Three years together. Yeah, three yeah. years together. Yeah, and have a look. Yeah, she's, you know, she's beautiful. Yeah. 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 Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 Clap for the love. Brasileiro and the gringo. <laughs> Cheers for the love. Agora love. vocês também, né? Yes. Pra fazer parzinho, pra fazer parzinho, fazer parzinho pra gente. She cannot drink beer. Three years. Well, Three it's, years again. it's not on the fridge, so it's, if it's not on the diet, you can't drink it. Okay. What is that? But you're being a good girl. I'm a good girl because yeah. I drink it last week. And yeah. My God. Me too. That's good. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. That's the that's the life, Angeli and Philip. Ah, I didn't yeah. know. I yeah. know that she didn't know about it. Yeah. yeah, she was. And then, and then, and then no, I, I, I was complaining uh, with Philan about you uh -huh. because uh, I, I'd like, I'd like to say, Angeli worked with us. Now. Yeah, work your, your home like one year. I don't think it one year. I think I was there. Yeah, yeah like, I was. I was this. Like yeah, take yeah. care about their house. Yeah, do some yeah. stuff. She's coming and, now in judging. And, and yeah. she, she <laughs> never, she never. The, uh, said anything about Philip? Nothing. Never. Yeah. Then I was complaining as soon as you you go out last weekend. What the hell, Angelie? It's like two years. I know this this woman one year, half two years. She never said that something about, about your want. hobbies, about you, about how you met. It's so like so. Yes, you know you know what? Because um I'm super I'm super I'm super like a. Because it has some things like uh, uh, it's nice when you met the person and uh, you start to discover things about it. Understand? Like, no, uh, yeah, a lot of that's, a yeah, lot of that's things. That's why I, 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 don't, I don't tell the, the, this kind of things because it's nice when he, he has the opportunity to talk the, to about talk himself. About, yeah, I complain a bit yeah. about you, but it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> about me, you can ask everything. <laughs> I'm an open book. <laughs> oh, and this guy last weekend, like I said, review, you, you, review had, the you, you had a, a barbecue here. Then he started to drink a lot of, like, almost. Of your beer? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Nobody, <laughs> nobody's bringing beer for me. Oh, I brought, I brought beer. <laughs> There's drink. still some beer in your fridge. <laughs> then this guy does, he started to drink a lot of, almost drunk. Then he started to say something. Uh, 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 for me, as here, a uh, little weird, like weird. Uh, yeah, weird. I had a brain. What the hell you have, my man? That's I had a brain too. <laughs> too. Could you say it again for for us? What I, the hell? I you? have two planes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not only that you made. Man, I man. Okay, all right. Man, this is crazy. This is crazy. I built two planes. No, this is crazy because I, I never, I never hear, I never read about yeah. one guy. Yeah, oh, yeah. A, a normal person. As soon yeah. as you you left, I I talk with Luana. I he talk was in with, shock. Man, this guy built a plane. <laughs> what the hell? I never hear about it. Yeah. Could you say again a bit about your how you started? Why you yeah, have? Yeah. Well, okay, okay. So. I was saying before how I, was, I went to England for one year and I was there for seven, six or seven years. <laughs> was good, eh? Yeah. It was good, yeah. So two <laughs> this means Angelino thinks that we don't Angelino. know. Angelino. Two things, two things happened while I was there. One was flying and the other was music. Ah, yeah. Okay, so music, I got interested in music. I got, I got interested in saxophone. You know, I mean, yeah, I've listened to rock musician. and roll saxophone yeah. all my life, you know, and I really enjoyed that. And I was about to leave and go overseas, and a friend of mine who's a very good bass player named Henry Henry Bialowis, 
he said, oh, well, if you want to play saxophone, you better start with clarinet. He said, I'll get you one. I'm a, he, was a, he was a teacher, so he got a discount. And he got me a, he got me a clarinet and he, got me, he photocopied the first 10 pages out of the How to Play Clarinet book. And I took that and I got on the ship and headed off. And I was at sea for six weeks. So I'd go twice a day to the cinema. The ship had a cinema and they had a, there was a one screening every day. I'd go before the screening and after the screening and get these, get yeah, these photocopied pages out and try and work out. And I started learning. Yeah, getting, getting things out of and it. I was already in my 20s, you know. And, but in London they've got these really good evening classes. So, um, you know, because some of the best musicians in the world live in London. So they would, um, and, and they teach at these evening classes run by the council. Most people would go to one a week and that was their sort of social outing. I was going every night of the week, five nights of the week and two on Saturday. So I got a bit obsessed with it. And, but I was Just a little bit. Because I was trying to catch up, you know, I mm-hmm. started late. So I was working hard at it and then studying architecture. Also in, in because the, of the girls love musicians. <coughs> musicians. <laughs> well... <laughs> Well, well, you obviously know more of the Baptist than I do, Tiago. What do you play? <laughs> but but to, to get on to, uh, um, I also, I always had an interest in flying because my father was a pilot in the war. You know? uh, he flew, serious? In yeah, the war? Yeah, he flew Lancaster bombers in, uh, in World War II. He was in England. He was seconded to 9 Squadron RAF. In fact, last Sunday... If he was still with us, he would have been 100 years old oh, last wow, Sunday. Cool. Yeah. And he flew, he flew 29 raids, night at night. He flew 29 raids uh, before the war finished. And then when, he, when I was a kid, he was a flying instructor in Can- at Canberra Aero Club. So mm-hmm. I sort of got a bit of that in you my blood, you know. Because yeah. you're with your dad and you see yeah. everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But what happened was in England, I got interested in hang, glide, you know, hang gliding. You know the hang gliders? Uh, you know, para it's like parachute. Like no, no, no. no but it's, it's, it's a rigid, like it's a frame, it's a glider. Okay. And From you, the mountain. Yeah, you jump off the mountain. And no, not paragliding. No. This is hang gliding. So paragliding is under like a parachute thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is a... Ah, this is ah. structural. Like, structural. Like having a general. Yeah, yep, yeah. yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, like that. Ah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a, it's a, it's a ah, okay. So I had some lessons there, and when, then when I came back, that's how I ended up here because of Stanwell Park. Mm. So I started, uh, and and my wife, um, who's you know she's she's uh, she died since, but uh, she always loved this bit of coast as well because she used to drive up here sometimes as a kid. You know the the coast, the drive up through the up through uh, to Stanwell Park and then through the National Park. You know it's beautiful, it's a beautiful bit of coast. So she liked that and I was interested in hang gliding. So I flew hang gliders at Stanwell Park for about seven years or so, seven or eight years. And then I got interested in, you know, power. It got, when the kids came, it was a bit too much, you know, because some, um, well, what happens is when Stanwell Park only works in particular conditions, mm-hmm. southeast, 15 to 20 knots of wind, right? That's when it's perfect. And you can't predict when it's going to happen. So mm-hmm. you say to the kids, oh, yeah, on, this, on the weekend we'll go and do this. Then you look out and, and it's perfect for Stanwell Park. You think, oh, But no way. Right. You, you are, have kids. You, know? you have kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Whereas with, with powered flight, I could book a lesson down at the Aero Club, three o'clock on Sunday. I'd, be, I'd leave home at half past two, get down there, have a briefing, go and have, the, have my lesson. I'd be home at 4.30. Everybody knew, you know, it worked well. So that's, that's how I transitioned into... The into flight. powered flight, yeah, and then and then in the ninety, in the late eighties, early nineties, this um, a magazine came out called Kit Planes, and that had it had um, it was a magazine about aircraft you could build yourself. And this aircraft came out was the RV four, which is a two seat two seat tandem uh, aircraft, brilliant, and an absolutely beautiful little thing. Um, and I looked at that and I thought. Oh, I'm going to build my own. I've got, to, I've got to have one of those. I could do that, you know. And, and it said, I said, what do you need to do? It said, oh, all you need is a few, 
few basic hand tools and some simple skills, you know. <laughs> oh, I've got all that. I could do that, you know. <laughs> How many magazines, like, they, they made it? Probably well, just one guy in the world, like, I made one. <laughs> well, <laughs> And they yeah, made yeah, this magazine probably. for film. You nobody, know? Yeah. nobody believe it. Like I made one. What happened was then a guy in Sydney had bought just the tail of this aircraft to build because the tail has thick skins, thin skins, some fiberglass, some extrusions. It's got a bit of everything. If you can build the tail, you can build the whole plane, right? Mm -hmm. So, and he'd started it and messed it up a little bit and said, "Oh, this is not for me." And he advertised it, and I bought it. So I bought the tail from him and I fixed the, br the, the bits when I, I built, finished the tail so I thought I, you know I can do this so I ordered the rest of the kit and got and it all came all these big boxes I had to go to Sydney with a trailer and a you know <laughs> hire a van and bring all this stuff home and it was all piled up in the shed and then the, your yeah. ex-wife was like she said yeah she said what the fuck do <laughs> you think you're doing <laughs> You'll have your kids, man. I said it's got You'll two. You'll have kids. It's got two seats. There's one for you. Well, I want some out. Right. Well, I'm going to find some to your business. Anyway, so I started. But that one, you know, because of the kids and the mortgage and the renovations and commuting to Sydney, you now that took 18 years to finish, you know. So it took a while. Um, no, you did just 18 years. Eh? 18. And, just 18 and, years. You know, just to... Did they just, grow up? They finished the college? She, yeah. she fought me all the way. She, you know, she used to, she hated the fact that I was building this thing out in the shed. But when it was finished and we started going on trips, she just loved it. You and know, that, how, and that's 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 the she woman. Loved that's yeah. woman. That's my wife. Woman cannot support. Yeah, <laughs> no. woman cannot support. Yeah. But when it was done, you know, and we'd go. And because it's two seat tandem, she's sitting behind me, so I couldn't see her. In the new one I built, I got a mirror so I can so I can see the person behind me, but I couldn't see. And so we'd be flying along somewhere, and, and I'd I'd say I'd say on the intercom, hey, "Hey, you okay back there? You all right?" Enjoy. And she'd say, "Yeah, I'm just having a spiritual moment." Ah, oh, fuck. You know, <laughs> um, fuck. You know, because it was it's it was good. just some of the things that we did in that aircraft were just amazing. You know. And We've been cool. right up, right up to the tip of Cape York, and across around the Torres Strait Islands, along the coast of New Guinea, all around you know the west coast of Australia. 2010, I flew it to New Zealand and back. Oh my god! Um, you know, it was. Just and then how was your first, first one? The, the first, first flight. flight. Then you say, look, do you think you did this? This think you like your people flight? say. People <laughs> say to me, you know, <laughs> people you, say you're crazy, of course. <laughs> they say, were you worried about the first flight? And I said, I, I always say. I wasn't worried because I built that thing. I know, you know, there's, I don't know how many thousand rivets there are in it, but there's thousands and thousands of these things. And I drove every one of them and every bolt and every nut was all, you know, I know what it was. What You're sure that it was, yeah, it was yeah. tight? In yeah, so I didn't have a problem with the aeroplane. What I had a problem with was me, whether have... I could do it. Because I had... I had a different seat to everybody else. I put pedals in so an instructor could come with me for the first time. And he said, oh, the seat's too big and I can't work the pedals. I can't help you. I've got to get out. So he got out. So I said, okay, I'm going to go on my own then. So I just went, you know, and, and luckily, you know, I didn't bend anything. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. And the, Thiago said he the dream, crazy. his dream is to fly with you. Well, <laughs> I, I will. I will I'll make yeah, a video well, together. That, that's going to be the podcast after this one. Yeah, yeah. yeah we'll yeah. do that. I'll yeah. be on. The, I'll be on the floor watch. <laughs> like, like my friend. My friend. He, he took. He took my fr uh, my friend and her her boyfriend. He was crazy to 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 the to the guy. Yeah, the Indian guy. And he was crazy to go. To, like I'm very excited. I want to pay him. Like no, no, I don't. Uh, no, but I need to pay you because I know you have class about the, oh, the I, petrol. I'm, I'm having fun anyway. I'll, yeah, you know. yeah, petrol. You have to put petrol because it, it's not cheaper, of course. But uh, you have petrol. Uh, okay. Who in there? Okay. And she said, I will stay on the floor. I don't want to fly. On the ground. Yeah, on the yeah. ground. I don't want to fly with you. Say, so, okay, okay. And he went there. He was very excited, very excited. But when he landed, <laughs> I said, okay, just once. <laughs> just once? Well, he didn't like it. No, no, 
know, he he liked it, but like it's, a, it's, it's like a, you have to like, and they said you have to you have to like. And they said like yeah, the a, thing about it is because it's right, not for right. everybody. It, yeah, it's not for everyone. Um, some people, you know, if it gets in your blood, then there's not you know you're hooked, and there's not not much you can do about it. But it doesn't happen for everyone, you know. I had one guy who, um, Paul. Uh-huh. Paul Higgs. He was, he was a fanatic. He's got this incredible um, simulator set up in his house, big screens and mm-hmm. the little controls and things. And I've actually, from Wedderburn, which is a little club strip up here, I've taken off in a Spitfire, flown around and landed again at Wedderburn in a Spitfire on his simulator. And he wanted to fly from Wedderburn. We were, I said, Friday night we're going down to the barbecue. It's only a 15-minute flight. Would you like to come? He said, oh, yeah, I'd love to come. Okay, I'll pick you up. We went up there. We got there, ready to go. And he said, oh, the only thing I need to tell you is um, I get a bit motion, you know, a bit of motion sickness on the turns. I said, oh, okay. <laughs> how do you do, have the little uh, bag? How you do that? So I said, well, we'll take off this way because then we're already pointing in the right direction and we'll go straight down there. I've got to do a loop at the other end and then we land. land, And so we took off and he was fine. Everything was fine. We flew along. Everything was fine. And then we started going and I was preparing to land and I said, I've got to turn now. Okay, if we don't turn... You don't go we're, back. We're heading out. You know, we're heading out towards New Zealand. We've got to. I've got to turn. So I just turned very gently, very uh-huh. gently. Uh-huh. Came around and landed, and then we we came in and and I said to him, you, you know, was that okay? Are you okay? But he, you know, I looked looked turned over my shoulder. He was green, you know. So, <laughs> you know, it's, it's better. My, so he didn't vomit. It's no, better my game. Okay, exactly. no. I do like to to stay so in my I, simulator. I'm I'm happy to take people. And I always try and be really gentle. You know, the aircraft is aerobatic. You can go upside down. But I never do that without unless somebody says, yes, they would like to. Um, yeah, but, but you know, really because... Say. because uh, The way you want. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> because if you frighten people, they never come back. You know, you don't, we don't want to do that. But he, he, he didn't come back with Philippi. <laughs> his wife has to pick her, him, him up, up and then... And, uh, and uh, what he did, do you feel? When, how was your first flight? How, you didn't know. Tell, oh, tell us about it. God. Because you didn't know about it. Yes, my wow. Because, you know, um, I never asked him to take me to fly. Because it's like, a, But I, did, I don't like to Did you know, it, since the beginning, he was, he has this friend? Yeah, 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 since, since the beginning. And um, he just going out with flying, things like that. Emma... I'm just quiet because I say I, I don't want to ask him. Like, oh, take me to fly, take me to fly. Just, When is the time comes, the time comes. So it's exactly. And then um, after a long time, he said, um, "Let's because in uh, in the in the airport he, they have a, a restaurant in there." And uh, he said, oh, "Let's let's eat in there." And I said, oh, yeah, yeah, okay." He went there, eat it. I, I ate lasagna. He had some things a little bit light, I, I don't remember. And uh, he said, ah, I'm going to, to the hangar because the airplane was leaking. Gasolina. Yeah, it's leaking. Was, it was leaking. Just a little bit. I said, yeah, just a little bit. He said, oh, okay. Need because to, I need, knew need, that. Need to fix it. Yeah, because I knew that. So I, we, we don't have enough to do it at home. Like no, it, let's go there, you know. Just go there. Okay. And then... Uh, 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 and then very cold that day was very cold and he said um actually can you please sit in the airplane but i'm gonna test the 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 headset i said okay but it's my first time he asked me to do it so okay i did i said It's like, oh my God, this is amazing. I was, wow, this is amazing. <laughs> I'm so, so vibrant. Wait, so wait, a, wait a bit. See if the belt fits. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because, no, no, first, first of all, he said to me, Angeli, try to sit. I said, I understand you, but I will sit. Because I have a big boom boom. But. But. <laughs> In the city, 
It has to I, be. I pushed really hard and it went in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we will. We will. <laughs> and because the airplane is small. It has to be small. Okay. And then he said, I'm, I'm going to test. And I said, okay. Put it on. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just enjoy. That's a, but inside the, the, the hangar. And he said, oh, okay. Now he said, I, I, I have to test outside. Because I want to, I want to hear, I want to hear the the the, the people there. Blah, blah, blah. So okay. So if I say, jump it behind me, and uh, are you are you sitting there in my in my position? You are going to outside. Say okay. And uh, I was very excited. Oh uh, uh, man! But uh, but the the the, the uh, uh, what is the name? The the, the uh, pista. Um, the the the. the where, where a taxi? The way you the go. Taxi the taxi way. The taxi way is, is, is long. So he went there and then turn and then turn again and, and put the airplane in the position. But I didn't know that. Because for me, everything is new. In my first time. I said, oh, okay, I'm here. And then he said to me, Angeli, uh, are you okay? Was he? Uh, I'm super okay. <laughs> but for me, I'm j- I, I, I just have to talk because he asked me. So uh, he tested it, then eh? and he say, uh, "Okay." And he, he started to talk. I says, "You're talking with me?" No, 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 no. And I, t- I talk with uh, the, 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 command, the, the, the command. The command. Said, I have to talk. He said, "Okay." This is your captain speaking. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I'm there. I'm there. So Felix. Oh, and look around. Yeah. Just, and so he said, um, "Are you ready?" I say, "For what?" Oh yeah. For what, Barbie? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I said, "Hey, <laughs> For what? Like a?" He said, ah, it "Doesn't matter." It just it starts. It, it starts. And the airplane, yeah, a little bit quicker, a little bit quicker, a little bit quicker. That then it was faster. He said, oh my God, I start to see the, 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 the house is like a little. He said, oh my God, I'm flying. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I, I do. Flying. <laughs> I said, oh my God, what, what is this? And then I start to realize that, I, and then come this feeling yeah. like, a, wow, I'm flying. And it's, of course, it's different because it's the, the airplane is small. And it just has a, a, a cover, it's transparent cover, that you can see everything like a, you just sit in the middle of nothing, like a, understand, mm-hmm. you're, you're, you're thinking like a, yeah. not, nothing can, can, support, can support me if something's happened here, because it's, it's very, yeah, this is like, a, it's nothing. And uh, <laughs> I, I just was very excited, and uh, he tried to do some, you know, a like, <laughs> oh, he's so nice. Yeah. He, he's respecting your first time. Yeah, but he just, <laughs> but in certain time, I said, I'm not good. I'm feeling sick. Could you stop? <laughs> Could you <laughs> stop, please? Could you uh, stop now? Yeah. <laughs> I want to jump. I want to jump. And then he said, and, now, and I try to talk with him, but he he he, he just talk nicely here. But uh, when he's he's in there, he's very concentrated. He's very and says like. A, and I talk with him. He did. He could hear me. But what has happened? Because remember when I say it was leaking, mm-hmm. and he knows I'm very. I feel very cold. I, I, I so everything. I just have to put my job because I feel easy cold, and he. He he uh, he closed the 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 air the entrance air the the mm-hmm. he 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 closed it because of me. And he closed it, and the 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 smell of the gasoline came very wow very strong very strong. And remember when I say I uh, ate. It was linking. Lasagna. Ah, yeah, it's lasagna. <laughs> lasagna. Lasagna, excitement, uh, gasoline, and uh, nowhere inside. But I mean, you know, lasagna comes in layers. Yeah. <laughs> All the layers were on the front of the jumper. <laughs> and uh, oh. he just told me, Philippi, I'm not well. You keep for the, the lunch? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not 
not well. He couldn't hear me, and I'm not well. And he's like, oh, Angeli, Angeli, oh, Angeli, 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 when they went up, uh, uh, get uh, get get out, got out. He said, he looked at me. Said, "Oh my God, oh what my, is this?" I my was, friend. I was, <laughs> I was, I was. Is that what? What the hell he did with my friend? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thiago, <laughs> eu fiz um, eu fiz, eu fiz um malabarismo. <laughs> eu fiz um malabarismo porque eu tava, eu tava com com um, um, um cachecol e eu sei que ele é muito ele é, ele é muito cuidadoso com as coisas que ele ama que é o, o avião you, e a moto you, e a moto the... e você agora yeah. <risos> eu não sei porque acho que ele, ele 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 me matou só com o olhar por quê na hora que, que eu tipo que eu tipo que eu vomitei eu eu tava eu tava sick e, e eu eu falei assim, caramba eu vou sujar o airplane dele porque o carro, o carro, ele, ele... Foda-se. You, foda you don't care about cars. Well, uh, the airplane? The airplane. The airplane. It's the baby. It well, it it it's, it's like a kid. It's 18 years old. I just, I just put here, I just put here the... the, 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 the meu, meu, meu cachecol, eu, 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 eu coloquei aqui e eu não sabia. E eu tinha que... Eu tinha que segurar aquilo, porque aquilo não podia espalhar lá dentro. E, e, ele, e ele olhou assim pra mim... Aí ele foi lá, silenciosamente, pegou o, o, o pano <risos> e o detergente e falou assim. <risos> you know, you know eu, falei assim, eu falei assim, me ajuda pelo menos a descer do aqui, porque eu não posso derrubar mais. <risos> Não, não, eu não tive a oportunidade, na oportunity actually because um, and then some 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 a lot of things happen yeah. and uh yeah we'll but get, uh, but we'll you know what uh yeah you know what i yeah. i would like to go again you because... have been in new zealand which country you can go more by the law how 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 it works like how, how far you can go? i can you can say tomorrow i can go to new zealand or not like just next mm -hmm. one no, month won't. two months how the the, the 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 things works 2010 i, I flew to new zealand and back to join a 10-day rally. But there's paperwork, you know, you've got to get a permission from the New Zealand government. There's all sorts of things you have to do. But so, from Australia, for example, yeah. tomorrow you can fly or you you have to, to get some license. You go, go like to Melbourne. Tomorrow. Well, oh. to Melbourne, anywhere in Australia is easy. But it is this tomorrow? You cannot ask some permissions, nothing? No, I don't need to ask permissions. Ah, just go there and that's it. Mm. Mm. Just go. Well, there's two kind of things. There, you know, if, if if it's controlled airspace, you need to put in a flight plan so they know you're coming. Mm -hmm. Down here, Shell Harbour, it's not controlled airspace, so you can go. I can go anywhere I like. Mm -hmm. You can go to Asia or no, no, not no, not that, no, no, not no. another country. No, no, but we used to do things like um, Tasmania. You know, today was a beautiful day. Yeah, it was, some, the morning was good. Sometimes in the morning, people would ring around and say, do you want to go to Marimbula for lunch? And Marimbula, down the coast, to drive is six hours. Mm -hmm. Why? But in the plane, it's one hour. Oh, wow. ah. Right, so we would... And that coast, when you drive in the car, you you know what... You, you cannot see. You see, you don't see anything. When you fly down the coast, it's just... It's the most amazing piece of coastline. It's just beautiful. So we'd go down and land at Marimbula... Because it's only one kilometre from the town. Mostly we'd bring a taxi, get a taxi You'll in. have our lunch there. Then we'd have lunch, then we'd walk back, let the lunch settle a little bit, fly home. We're home, we're home by three o'clock. It's amazing. It's good. And the, the craziest yeah. thing is, he was talking to me, there's a lot of guys building friends nowadays. Yeah. And he helps. He's the... The coach. You are the coach nowadays about the coach. these guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, there's a um, there's a national association that's set up just for people, just to help people do this. 
and it's broken down into little chapters, into little groups. And the one here goes... One to Ilara, one to... Well, it goes from Helensburg to Batemans Bay in the Southern Highlands. Bower or Mittagong Mossvale area. That's our patch. And we've got, in our group there, we've probably got 50 people. 50. And probably uh, seven or eight projects under construction. And we've got um, probably f five or six finished and flying. But now they don't have the magazine to buy no. all the yeah. items. How, how they buy the, the pieces? Like you have like a company who sells that? Specifically, how this yeah. is like in any you just get it. Well, there's there's a whole different there's there's basically three different ways. One is you can buy a set of plans, and you look at the plans, and then you've got to buy the materials and make the bits. Or you can buy the plans and a kit. Or you can buy the plans and a kit that's half finished. Mm. That's called quick build. You can buy another one that someone's selling as well. Yeah, yeah, we are. Yeah, if you if you want, you can buy one that somebody else has built. Nowadays, how much you have to invest to get a, like to build your airplane, like well, so so around. I wouldn't want to give a figure on that. It depends how much like, you, I, I, how much you want to do yourself, you know. Because there's a, a, a different types of uh, material you can do it. You explain you can do acrylic. <laughs> but yeah, you but can build, yeah, it can do by wood. Wood but also, one. I mean, you know, the instrument panel, you can put a basic panel in or you can put a really, really okay. expensive like, panel. Like our the basic like ones. The basic one. Mm. Like yours, the airplane that you have now. Just for heaven. So just have an idea. If you have to build again, the airplane that you have now, so, so, how much that going to cost? Well, I would have in, in, in that second plane, I've probably got $100,000 invested. $100,000. Yeah, my labor is worth nothing. Also, because you yeah. share, you, you share, a car. you share it's you half. Because you plan. you have a, someone to help you. Your plan is half. That's you are half someone. No, yeah. no, I no. paid. I paid for everything. Ah, you <laughs> paid for. Yeah, he was there to help me. Ah, you helped to build. Some jobs need two hands, two sets ah, of hands. Okay. Yeah. But it's my plane, so I pay the bills. But he he can get it for you some days to to travel. Well, he can. He would. Like when I had the engine, like I couldn't afford a new engine. I got an engine that was older that needed to be rebuilt. Um, so when I delivered it, he came with me to the guy who was going to do the work. And when it was finished, he came with me and we picked it up and brought it back, <coughs> you know, ready to ready to install. Yeah. But like you think like a hundred thousand dollars if you compare like a price of cars, it's, it's not that much like compare yeah. the price of things. Yeah. Mm. yeah? For you have a plane, but how much is it like the cost to have a plane? Like because probably you have to have, oh I don't know how to call like a wall yeah, or I'll, something to keep it. You have to the same. You have the marina yeah. for the bar. At the that, the, the, that's the, the thing. Boat, you have yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's, that's you the thing. need a spot in the hangar somewhere. You know, mm -hmm. so yeah. we don't want to park it outside. Of course, then inside. That, that's yeah. expensive. For exactly. That's the keep, thing. Is more expensive. Yeah. Do you have insurance for it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Also today I made uh, I was in the uh, car service to make the pink slip. Do you do you have to do it? Pink any, slip, blue like slip, <coughs> Barbie slip. <laughs> do, do you do anything by uh, once a year? Do they have anything set for planes too? They have any rules that they have? Yeah. yeah. Well, I built the plane, so uh, it's registered registered in the amateur build experimental category, and part of that. Um, legislation allows me to maintain the aircraft so I have to do you know a pink slip they check the lights and they check well we do something much more than that we take all the seats out we take everything. the floors out we check everything every, every, corner, huh? every year every year mm -hmm. every year mm -hmm. yeah to make sure not, nothing damage and, and, and we lubricate everything and we yeah so we check everything and uh, we that do big? that yeah every year it's a big, it's a big job when this this day come. Yeah, <laughs> well, it takes takes three or four days to do three it. Three or four yeah. days, but but that's what we do because if the car breaks down, you just pull over and wait for the <laughs> wait for them to come and help. You know what do I do up there? <laughs> you know I can't pull over anywhere. I'm just, the engine stops. You, 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 you get any, your parachute. Do you have any emergency <laughs> land? Any, emer any emergency what? land like in your all the time? No, no, you never need it. Like so. Something happened. People say to me, when you flew to New Zealand, why, why would you do that? You know? I say, because 
The engine doesn't know it's flying over water. It just it's just running happily, you know, keep going. Also, you had to stop three times, twice or three times too. Yeah, because your plane is not allowed to fly. Like, but, but you don't have fuel. Well, I haven't got yet. haven't got fuel enough fuel. Yeah, mm. yeah. So went from here to Lord Howe Island, Lord Howe Island to Norfolk Island, then Norfolk Island down to Kerry Kerry, which is in the north end of the North Island of New Zealand. We did customs mm -hmm. and immigration and uh, quarantine there and then fly down the coast to Auckland. Yeah. It's crazy. Mm. It's crazy. Fuck. It's amazing. <laughs> 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 Probably start to build my brand. My I brand. Next, we'll next, give next an week. Idea for him. Next week. You help <laughs> me. You help <laughs> me. Look, look how much they invest on these podcasts, the structure, all the cameras, but now our play? No, we, don't, if, we if, cannot if, afford if, it. <laughs> idea if there is some guy that start to build, you can talk with him. Then I can like make a video, like the process. Do you think your mind like when you start to have photos? Did you have photos about the process? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Well, part of the approval is you have to prove that you built it yeah, yourself. Yeah. So you've got to. I've got photos of me starting on the first one in the nineties when my hair was dark and I had and it came right out to here. <laughs> when I started building, my eyes. <clears throat> my eyes were at the top of my face. Now they're in the middle because the hair's all gone back. You know? Are you gorgeous? More gorgeous than today? Oh, mate. Oh, man. It just, it just keeps getting better. Like a good Sorry. wine. You know? Let's take all Just the don't pull my cork too early, okay? Let's get all the stuff you have it. For if it's like make a, a video, then you'll fry it. Mm. Then you could do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You'll be a great yeah. like recreational <laughs> memory. Also, yeah. you have like one three passions, passion, passions, 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 hobbies. Three passions, hobbies. No, three. Passions. What are the other two? No, Angeli, <laughs> the brain, and he likes motorbike. Let let finish. Well, motorbike and music. Four passions. Yeah. He he, he, he loves he loves uh, Harley Davidson. And no! 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 <laughs> Wash your mouth out. <laughs> I was trying to, 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 to tell Luan about your motorbike. It's not a motorbike from England. From, from England, yeah. Triumph. 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 It's a Triumph Thruxton. And the what's different between like its culture, it's like brand, it's like material. When you compare to Hal Davidson, Suzuki okay. ones. Here's how I was it. Because I, I know about cars to start and drive motorbikes for me as well. I don't know about brains. I don't know almost nothing about okay. stuff. Harley Davidson is like a cruiser. You sit on Harley Davidson, you go down the highway. That's what it's good for. You can't go on a on a windy mountain road because the clutch thing scrapes and it you know it doesn't handle. We've, myself, all my friends and, and I have always had more sport kind of bikes. So we've always had English bikes, European bikes, Triumph, BSA, Norton, uh, Motor Guzzi, BMW, uh, Laverda. But BMW is not from London. Which one? BMW. BMW is German. In German, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so we've had European But and you prefer English. European than... America motorbike. Absolutely. Then yeah. Asian motorbike. Yeah. If I bought a Harley Davidson, they wouldn't ride with me anymore. <laughs> <I'll tell you. laughs> bullying, oh. bullying. <laughs> Go and away. How long have you have you do you have this motorbike? Oh, I've had this motorbike for only a couple of years, I suppose. But yeah. before you already have one. Yeah, well I grew up with motorbikes, you know. I had I had a I bought a brand new it probably I don't know if it'll mean anything to people, but in 1970, I bought a brand new Velocet Sportsman. Brand new. I was the first owner. And the year later, Velocet went out of production. You know, they're worth a fortune now. Yeah. Um, I sold it because I wanted to go faster, you know. Uh, you go faster. Then you could buy a plan. Did you, did you watch the, the movie Top Gun? With Top Gun? Yeah. I have seen Top Gun, yeah, yeah. Because it's compared with you, your life, like... Yeah. The guy loves Pran, 
and loves motorbike. He, yeah. lo- he loves woman. Oh, then he's yeah. knocking. He's knocking. He's knocking. He's top again. Yeah. 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 Top Ken. Top Ken. <laughs> he's Tom Cruise. <laughs> Tom Cruiser. Tom Cruiser. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah, this is his pleasure patient with. Uh, Do you have any patient, Angeli? Uh, yeah, of course she does. Of course, <laughs> of course. Oh my God! What do you do when you have free time? Clean my house. Oh, this is not a, <laughs> this is not hobby. Do you like to read the internet? What do you do? Uh, we we love we love Netflix. We love Netflix. Netflix. Luana. Yeah. Netflix. Luana. Yeah, we love Netflix. Luana watch everything in Netflix. Probably we, the per, the first person in the world to watch everything. Yeah, we everything. <laughs> but uh, we love we love to go out too. Yeah, yeah. We, we go out. Yeah. Restaurants, restaurants uh, clubs. clubs. Uh, he loves to. She's a party girl. <laughs> <laughs> She's a party girl. Loves the party. Brazilian. Yeah, <laughs> Brazilian. Yeah. Have Have you been a few times have, in Sydney to all enjoy here? Mainly here. Mainly here. Mainly here because um, the Philippi, he knows very nice this area. And uh, sometimes he took me to go to some very nice place that, uh, you know, uh, Minamara, you know, the, the oh, specific yeah, 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 place yeah, yeah. is like a, like a t- just tourist. people who grow up here. Like yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Tourists don't go this kind of, nah, in this place. And uh, ah, it's, it's, it's very, it's very nice because... Wow, I never could imagine it. Uh, we haven't run out. Of, haven't run out of stuff around here yet. Yeah, but I never could imagine it has uh, a life out of Sydney. Understand? Because yeah. it's just Sydney, 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 Sydney. You, but it's no, no. When I came here the first time, so oh my God, this is my this is my city now because. Well, Hong Kong is beautiful. I, I like uh, Hong Kong. Wow, Hong Kong is beautiful. Really, beautiful. Jar- really. Jarvis Bay is one hour yeah. from here. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, Huskisson. Yeah, yeah, beautiful little town. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we we, so we, much try, we, yeah, we try to enjoy more here, but it's, in some yeah, cases we, it's like we're not going that often anymore to Sydney nah. because when we just move, we try to go because we have friends there a lot, and then we just got used to make friends here because we have a really nice uh, community. You know here. what I don't like about Sydney? I don't want to spend my life stuck in the traffic. Duh. It drives I'm, me. I'm sick. I'm Normally, I'm, sick. I'm 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 pretty. I'm, you know gentle but stuck in sydney yeah. traffic just drives me yeah. nuts i just I'm, don't don't want to do it my yeah. only work here it's almost driving i'm sick like yeah I'm, every day like yeah it's, it's hard. Hard. Sick, well, yeah, it's hard. sick of driving but you think it you is could, what it is you know like you're like me you got better things to do with your life than be stuck in traffic yeah well, there well, you go <laughs> <laughs> So fast. <laughs> 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 I appreciate it. That's it. That's it. Do you do want to say something for our kids? For yeah. anywhere? For like, anyone? You want to give a message? Give you a message. Take a look for this camera and say, Hello, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ken. So, this is Ken talking to the rest of the world. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed our chat. Yeah, uh, really, uh, really. Uh, you can watch whole chat, whole podcast on YouTube. Also in the podcast, Google Podcast. And yeah. also in Spotify, isn't it? Uh, yes. You can listen if you don't want uh, to watch the video. Angeli, listen to Spotify. Angeli, Spotify. do you like to say something a for our family in Brazil? Oh, gente, adorei. Adorei esse bate-papo. Adorei contar um pouco da nossa história. Adorei tudo. Adorei vocês aqui. Eu forgot about... Eu tava um pouquinho nervosa, porque... Ah. Minha primeira vez, toda primeira vez a gente fica um pouquinho nervoso. Quantas vezes a gente mas, chamou você para vir? Mas vocês deixam Várias. a gente relaxado, entendeu? Deixa a gente ir. Então, gostei. E eu finish with one ask. One question. One question. One question. What did you feel when you was in Copacabana, Brazil? Oh! oh. Come on. You, you forget about this travel. How yeah. you feel? Just to, to you be the end. <sighs> How you feel? About one guy you grew up in Australia, in, Ca- Ca- in Canberra, and never yeah. thought to be one day in Uginera Brazil. was my favorite of the of the trip. It was fabulous. Just it was a wonderful place. Um, going out at night was wonderful. Walking around in the daytime was wonderful. Copacabana was wonderful. We were sitting there watching. And, you know, as I said before, I'm interested in music. I was watching this guy playing. On the street? 
No, it was in, in a little kiosk. bar, in yeah, a little kiosk, kiosk thing, you know. Kiosk, uh-huh. And he was playing bass and guitar at the same time. And I, you know, it was just amazing to watch. Um, yeah, no, it was a wonderful experience. What was the best uh, memory that you had from Brazil? Like, like what like was the thing that you catch was the best thing that happened there? Like, or you didn't expect that was like there? Probably the exhilaration of Rio Janeiro. Also, flying, landing in, landing in, uh, in, this, uh, in Santos Dumont. Santos Dumont. Because <laughs> you come in around the hills and you've got to come right in, crank it over nice and tight, plop it on, stop quickly, or you end up in the no, water. Right. Yeah, so, yeah, so luckily they did that. That yeah, was pretty exciting. Did the people treat you well? Did you eat a lot of food? Yeah, well, I ate more than everybody else. Because people said, oh, I got gringo in my house. So I got a, you know. <laughs> So I had to eat, you know, and everybody's sitting around watching me. And I got to eat. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the really Brazilian guys, like, if you don't have anything at home, if you bring someone new, you share half. Yeah. And yeah. 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 What they yeah. Give you, you share everything. Like, you share it's, everything. it's Brazilian culture. Like, yeah. it's great. Yeah. It was, so you're going to make happen. Like, yeah. One like, of the really yeah. wonderful things was how welcome I was made. I was, it was, I was instantly welcomed into everybody's house. It was just, it was, that was wonderful. That's, that's our culture. Like, it's not just because you're gringo, because we, exactly. we are like that. We yeah. like to receive people home and make them welcome, feel home. Yeah. And I think yeah. some, of, some of the special uh, thing Brazilian has. Exactly. And we, exactly. when you bring this to Australia too, when we have like, kind of we had the barbecue at it's, home. And then we had people from other countries that come. It's like, oh my God, I feel home. You know, like everything is easy and yeah. and simple. Yeah. Yeah. And then that's the thing. Other thing that I think is really good in Brazil is that when you go out, the nights are live. You know, yeah. like, no, and then you eat. Absolutely. It's, you it's, not, it's not like midnight and everybody home. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's like everybody exactly. you go yeah. most have like a, a music, like a, a live it's music. midnight and they're just warming up. And they're yeah. warming yeah. up and have a live music. Really easy to find a live music. Here yeah. we don't the, find live music. Like the, not so much. the party in Brazil starts 1 a.m. Exactly. The party uh, party. 1 a.m. The yeah. party party, yeah. the big yeah. party, yes. But the, like the bars and stuff, they have like live music from 7, 8. Until late, and then we don't find this here. Uh, yeah. Exactly, yeah. We, yeah. I, I yeah. miss that. Well, I miss that. Yes, yeah, miss we, well. we went to to Lapa in Rio de Janeiro. Oh my yeah. God! But he's he's this guy is like it's a, crazy. It's, like, it's crazy yeah. because he, he have a body every single corner and the people around and everybody <laughs> talking and drinking Dancing, and eating, yeah. smiling. eating is my. He, he just he's just amazed. Like I, unfortunately, I didn't have time to to show São Paulo. But we flew and uh, yeah. Paulo, yeah. Well, I've got some photos of flying into Sao Paulo. Paulo. And, Paulo. and I look at them now on my, you know, and you uh, blow them up and it's so intense. Yeah. You know, the density is just, and it goes on right uh, from the photograph, it just disappears over the horizon. Yeah, and you, you, zoom in, you know, just so much. If, <laughs> you, if you can get a whole population from Australia. You, it's in, in one city, city. Sao Paulo city. city, almost, I know. almost, yeah. unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, yeah. In the, Have you been? You want to go there uh, uh, one more time? Sure. <laughs> sure. Please, uh, Please don't get six years again to yeah. go. No, of course, no, no. You no, can no, go my, with my your friend me. there. With yeah. my plane, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> because you much. could pay you, then you can like. Uh, carry Luana first, then you come oh, back and go, then you go because it's like well, I could spend do it, a lot of money. I could do it in one trip, put you on the roof rack. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> put a trailer. <laughs> <laughs> I got a tow bar. Nice, that's it. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's very I really nice. appreciate it. Really very appreciate nice. it. Thank you. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you. Nice. Guys, that's it. That's it today. I hope you enjoy it. Keep you watching. Anyway, that's it. Chagon uh, de Made is on with Philip Angeli. You know this this girl. Luana is here. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Say something in, in Portuguese for us to finish. Ciao. Ciao. Até logo. Até logo.